What up guys, Real Touch GML here back with another tutorial. Today I will be going over advanced menus. So what I pretty much mean by advanced is here, let me show you. Uh, okay, so you see we have this uh, green arrow here and you can move these up and down um, and then press space to whichever uh, one you would like. So it's a little it's a little better than uh, just you know having a mouse and having to click and you could just do this so I don't know it's an option out there so let me go ahead and teach you how to uh, do that okay so let me just alright so what I've done is I've created just this arrow sprite okay and I've created a font and the text object which just draws the text out with the the play and the help and I space this out by 70 <clears throat> so every 70 um, well it's gonna mean it's gonna make help 70 pixels down from play and 140 pixels down from play it's going to set quit so what I mean by that is well it just displays text 70 down which as you can see right here and then I just set the arrow in here and again it doesn't do anything but we're gonna go ahead and make it do some stuff so for the arrow I've also uh, went ahead and just set its position 160 96 now this 96 is going to again be going up 70 because that's what we set the draw text to Okay, so in the step event, well actually you know what, in the create event we're going to set a variable. And this is going to be uh, select equals 1. And 1 is going to be uh, play, 1 is play, 2 is help, and 3 is quit. Okay, so in the step event what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and see. Um, I'm going to go a little bit down here. If select equals 1, which means that's on the play, we're just going to go ahead and set its, set its coordinates. So 160, y equals 96. Again, I just, for those coordinates, getting those coordinates, um, yours will probably be, most likely be different. Um, I just went right here, and if you see in the bottom, bottom left hand of the screen right here, there's coordinates and I just kinda set that up to right here and that's where it's gonna set so now I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this and paste it three, two more times and if select equals two and if select equals three now for the Y I'm gonna do plus 70 because I don't want to do the math and figure that out and I'm gonna do plus 140 and why do I do plus 70 and plus 140 because in the uh, text in the text I put it to go down 70 and I wanted to go down 140 so I just wanted to be equal with that okay so now it knows um, the positions that it's at now we need to set the values for it. so we're gonna do if keyboard check pressed uh, VK down select plus equals 1 now we're just going to copy that and paste it right down here and we're going to do minus equals. So if you press up, it's going to minus 1. Okay, so if you're at 2 and you press up, select will now equal 1. If, you pre if you're at like 2 and you press down, it's going to go to 3. So now um, there's a little problem here. It can just keep going to 4, 5, 6. What we're going to do now is uh, if select is greater than 3 then select equals uh, 3 or if you want it to repeat back around you can do 1 we'll do that and if select is less than 1 then select equals 3 so now if we go ahead and test that out it should repeat back around So 
so you go down oh. and it looks like it's not working for some reason uh, let's see here oh my bad um, this has to be up my bad Okay. So now it should work. So now if you see here, press down, it goes down, down, and as you can see it loops back around. Same thing if we go up and back down. So now I want it to do if we press space, something will happen. So how we do that is in this type of event. We are going to set so if keyboard check pressed BK space the double and sign select equals one. We're gonna say a uh, room go to next. So it goes to the next room. So we can copy this. We can paste it down. And select equals 2. Let's have it, for the help, let's have it show info. And if select equals 3, game end. there we go that should work let's just make the info let's just oh that's global game settings so okay so it says that and we'll go ahead and make another room real quick just to show that if you press on that and we'll make it blue so let's go ahead and test it out now So as you can see, if we go to help and press space, it shows the um, that. If we go down to quit, it quits the game. And then if we went to play, it will um, go to the next room. So I'll just go ahead and show you that real quick. But yeah, that's pretty much the tutorial. Um, go ahead and leave a like if this tutorial helped you out. And go ahead and subscribe if you like my tutorials. And yeah, as you can see, play will go right to the next room. So... Yeah, go ahead and subscribe if you like my tutorials, and go ahead and comment any suggestions. Uh, next tutorial will probably be sprite animation, so look for that, and I will see you guys next time.